lives I could not save As I did 32,000 days What's the takeaway? in that one my man <laughs> so good <laughs> so i was it was taking me back to uh, i was coming home from a hike the other day with johnny and right at the mm-hmm. end of that song there's a very high haunting ooh and johnny just started singing along with it and he just kept on singing afterwards I'm like oh this is freaking perfect oh man that's great <laughs> that is awesome yeah it's like <laughs> oh yeah 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 so i appreciate you being here um, I'm going to end the podcast the same way we end every one of them. So this is called True Ambition. And uh, the quote that I took to create this is, True ambition is not what we thought it was. True ambition is the profound desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of God. When I heard that uh, quote, when I read that quote about five, six years ago, it kind of changed my life. Knowing what you know now, been through what you've been through, today what is your true ambition moving forward both in your personal life and in your professional life my true ambition in my personal life is to cherish respect and love the gift of being a husband and a father that importance that is my ambition to make the right choices for my family that are quality choices, not financial choices. Right. For my career, it is my true ambition to find a plateau of honesty that fills me so much that I will do it if there was one person there. Does that make sense? Like feeling that I want to, I want to make sure that that jar is full of, for the right reasons. Makes total sense. And I love it. You know, cause it's, a, it's, a, it's the same kind of thing that I'm feeling, you know, as I get older, you know, getting close to 50, it is exactly the way I feel, you know, all of my life, if I can just get to that point where I'm helping one person, mm-hmm. my life's full. I'm good to go. Right. So I appreciate you being here, Emerson. And uh, it's been a great podcast. And uh, I can hear Liam back there in the back. He's awake. And he, uh, he, he took a little cat nap, and now he's, he's ready for some grub. All right. Well, you guys take care. Take care of the family, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, John. Good seeing you, man.